Hello, everybody, and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. Okay, back to K-pop. <laughs> I have a viewer that requested a reading about a tease. A-T-E-E-Z. I swear to God, I've never heard of BTS. Never heard of Blackpink. Never heard of a tease. And I'm starting to become very familiar with these bands. And the more I do the more requests there are of these K-pop bands. And um, how many of them? Is there like a million of them in Korea? I don't know. So, okay, this one is about a tease. So the subscriber asked me to do a reading on the band, but he's most curious about Mingi since he's the one on hiatus. But if you can also do how the members feel about it, that would be great. Thank you. All right, so let's just kind of talk about Mingi Song. Now, again, I apologize. I'm not Asian. I don't know what's the first name. Most, like, I have learned that um, last name goes first. So this person here gave me Hong Jung Kim. I'm suspecting Kim is the last name. And Young Ho Jiong, Young Ho is the first name. So Mingi Song, I'm assuming Mingi is the first name. So when I think about Mingi, he's delicate. Um, he is a Leo, but I find that he's, he's sensitive. So he must, in astrology, he must have a lot of planets in either Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. He's delicate, he um, is sensitive, and he, <clears throat> he needs time because I feel that he is overwhelmed or overworked. Even though there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, there's eight members, right? <clears throat> okay, all right. There's eight members, but I feel that there's still pressure on each one of them, and it's a lot of pressure. And I feel that Mingi is having a hard time and he needs to just kind of, whether it's, he's got some sort of an anxiety, and they think this is anxiety uh, from the fans, pressure from you guys um, to, to perform, to be at his best. And you guys need to just kind of take it easy on these guys. These people are really young. You know, you've got a lot of, you know, the black, pink and the BTS, they're early 20s. And there there's a lot of responsibility here um, that they are handling. They can't live their lives the way they want to live it. They can't be in love with the people that they want to be in love with because that's not acceptable. The fans are not going to accept that. So they're living their lives for you, making you guys happy. And it's like they're walking on eggshells. And so it's like, I feel that Mingi, it got to him, this walking on eggshells and not being able to be the person that he wants and living up to the expectations of everybody. So he's on hiatus is what this fellow says here. So um, I feel that um, he's working through it. I don't know if he'll be back. And if he is going to be back, it's going to be a while because he's really having a hard time. I feel he's very talented. He's very good at what he does. But you guys got to chill. You, you guys have to really start to um, let them be who they are. If they are seen with a member of Blackpink, all of a sudden it's all the rage. Everybody's wondering if Blackpink and, you know, somebody from Blackpink is with somebody from BTS or a tease or whatever the case is. So he's, it's gotten to him. And um, I feel, like I say, I feel like he's really talented, but it's a shame that he has so much pressure put on him. So he is going to be back, but not for a while. I even think that it's almost a little bit shaky that he feel ever come back again because he's just he's he's got a lot of um issues emotional issues and uh he's he's fragile. I'm not saying he's weak as a person but he is fragile and it's been really hard on him. So um I feel like the rest of the band members are worried about him, worried about where this is going to go, how it's going to affect them. If they're going to get backlash from the fans, stop putting pressure on these poor kids. Um, okay, so I've got here Hong Jung. Okay, first of all, Siwa Park. Okay, so I feel like 
I feel like this Hong Jun, okay, he is the leader of the group. He's very responsible and he's very mature. And he's a little bit more on the serious side. Maybe that is why he is the leader. Um, I can't really speak on everybody. I mean, I can't pick up everyone's energies. I do feel bad for, for Mingi. I feel bad for him. Uh, San Choi. I feel San Choi and Mingi. San Choi is worried about Mingi. San Choi and Mingi, I feel, have a... Um, they're, they're, they're tight. They have a special bond. Uh, I'm just picking up the energies of some of these guys. I feel like Jong Ho Choi is a little bit more detached. Um, he's mm, a little bit more on the selfish side. I feel he's a little bit... Uh, I'm just going to look up his name. Sorry, I'm going to be going back and forth to the internet so I can see what his face looks like because I can read faces as well. Okay, so Jong Choi Jong Ho from a tease. Yeah, you know what? He's confident. He's a little bit arrogant. He uh knows what he's doing he looks good and he knows it he's he's uh he's a little bit selfish not that there's anything wrong with that because all of these guys are all different so i feel that uh he's a little bit on the selfish side nothing wrong with that he's got an ego he's got arrogance he's not as compassionate towards mingi as the rest of the the band is okay Uh, Wu Young Jung, copy. Oops. Hmm. When I look at his face, he looks like he's a little bit more immature. He needs to be led by the other band members. <clears throat> he's pretty looking, hey? He's got a pretty face. Uh, he reminds me of the last fellow that I just read. And again, I'm not saying that they're, these are bad kids. They're just young. Um, 20, 20. You know, Jong Ho is 20. Um, Wu Young is 20. Mingi Song, he's having a hard time. He is. Uh, San Choi. San Choi, a tease. San Choi, he cares about the band and I feel like he does have worry about where this is going. Uh, he's talented. He works hard. He works hard at making sure everybody stays together and everyone is happy. He works hard at that. He really worries. There's a worry there with him. Okay, next is Yo Sang Kang. He's serious. Oops. Yes. No. Siri thought I wanted her. He's serious. He takes his work very seriously. I feel like for him, this was a big break and he doesn't want anyone to blow it. Um, I'm just looking at his face and uh, 
it's like I feel like he's really grateful for the for the opportunity that he has. Uh young Jiang Yan Ho. Copy. Okay. He's charismatic. Um, I'm going to put a tease. He's one of the mature ones of the group. Uh, he's 21. Um, you know, there we've got eight personalities here. We've got eight different people. So, um, You've got some that worry that this is going to be the end for them and others um, that are only worried about themselves. But all in all, I really, I feel they will all stay together. It's just... Mingi, I keep going back to Mingi being very, just very fragile. So he really just needs time um, away, some downtime, some recuperation, okay? I'll go to my tarot cards and see, I'll do a read on, I'll just let three cards fall out regarding uh, Mingi. What are the messages regarding Mingi? 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 So the way I do my readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. Um, if more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and I shuffle till the one card falls out. And if anybody's interested in purchasing a private reading, you can email me. I'll put my email at the bottom of the video and uh, I'll get back to you within 24 hours with information on how to purchase a reading and my reading turnaround time is less than five days. So I'm what's called a clairsentient and clairaudient so I can feel what other people feel. I can pick up emotions. Um, I can pick up emotions between people. It's just like I, I read right now, I feel with Mingi, I feel he's soft and he's delicate and um, I feel he's very talented. And sometimes the more, most talented ones are the most um, fragile, okay? Something is too much for him. It's too much, too much. Okay, so here we have the Five of Swords. He feels defeated. You can see that they're walk walking away. He's defeated here. Then we have the Five of, of Cups. What did I say? Five of Cups is about loss, regret, grief, feeling abandoned, feeling unloved. This is about depression. All right, so you can see he's depressed. He's got the cape over him. He's looking at the cups and feeling like it's all is lost, but it's not. He's got, there's still hope here. There's two cups that are still standing upright. He needs help. Um, he needs help. He needs um, like psychology, something, you know, and this is about drama. So can't, the, the Knight of Swords is about some sort of a drama that has gone on or is going on. The Five of Swords talks about conflict, loss, defeat. Um, the card can signify fighting with institutions within families at work or within other group institutions rather than a one-on-one -on -one combat. It's clear that this battle is not worth continuing. Withdraw now with dignity rather than suffer more harsh treatment. 
So this is a battle that's going on maybe even between the band members and he just can't take it anymore. Okay. I don't think it's, it's institutions. It could be families. He's just got a lot going on. Okay. And let's ask about future mess messages about a tease. What are the future messages for a tease for any of you that are worried that this might fall apart. I don't think it will. They're not as big as BTS, are they? I don't feel like they are. I feel like they're pretty big in Korea, but they, um, not as big as BTS. What are the future messages for a tease? Future messages for a tease. And if you guys like this content, I will leave my PayPal uh, on the um, in the comment section and donations are welcome. I don't get paid a lot from YouTube. <laughs> you know, I get three or four thousand views and YouTube um, gives me two or three dollars. It's not a lot of money. People think there's a lot of money to be made on YouTube. Not not really. Not for me anyway. All right. Future messages for a tease. Future messages for a tease. Okay, future messages for a tease. All right, so we have the Ace of Cups, which is about emotional fulfillment. So I believe that all the band members or these this boy band, all of them are emotionally fulfilled. They're still going to move forward. This band will still be there. The drama will still continue. There's the Knight of Swords. Look at all the cards. There's like 70 some cards and this fell out again. There's some sort of drama going on. Okay. There, this is going to still continue in the forefront. And then we have the Ace of Pentacles. This is that new beginning again. So the Ace of Pentacles speaks about... Um, hold on here. So the Ace of Pentacles talks about beginnings, prosperity, winning, business, it's property, it symbolizes money, success, or other achievements. You may receive money via new work or receive a windfall. Um, it's going to sustain you into your future goals. Overall, the card reveals financial security and contentment. So they're, they'll be fine. See, the drama is in between these two. Something is going on, either with management or between the boys or something. But with, I think with Mingi, it's everything, everything, the pressures of all of this. I don't think he was ready for it and he just needs some time. I don't know if he's going to go back though. Um, I don't feel like this group is tight like BTS is or Blackpink. There's too many people in there. You know, I know BTS has seven, Blackpink has what, five girls or something like that? But eight is too much. It's too much. And you've got all these personalities. I don't feel they're as close as BTS is because BTS is like a fine oil, finely oiled machine. This a tease? Not so much. Okay. All right, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. I know you guys from North America, you know, you don't really know who these people are, but I hope you guys enjoyed this reading and please subscribe, like, share, comment, thumbs up. Um, and if you hit the bell icon, you will know every time I put a uh, post a new video. All right, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.